Welcome, in front of me I have Amazfit Bib 6 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. First thing we need to do is to turn on our watch and you can do it by pressing and holding the lower button. Keep holding the button until the watch vibrates or until you see the Amazfit logo on the screen. Once it vibrates, you can release the button and wait until the watch is done booting up. In the meantime, we need to download and install the Zep application on the phone that we want to pair our watch with. So make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, open the Play Store, tap on search and type in Zep with two P's at the end. And tap on search. And you should see this application, Zep, tap on install wait until it's done installing. Okay, and once the application is done installing, you can tap on open. Uh, to open it. Now let's go to our watch, tap, or rather scroll through the list of the languages, find the language you want to use, tap on it to select it. Oh, I think I selected the wrong language. Yeah, can we go back? We can, okay. Select the language you like, and after you select the language, tap on the check mark, and you will see the QR code. Now we need to go to the Zep application, and we need to log in into an account. If you don't have an account, you can tap on sign up and then create a new one and use it to log in. I already have an account, so I'm gonna tap on login, enter the email address and password. And tap on login. And after, oh, I entered the password wrong, give me a second. Okay, now it should be good. I think at least. Okay, we're signed in. So after you log in, you can uh, tap on device icon right here, tap on watch, tap on got it, tap on allow, got it, uh, while using the app, and it will open the camera app. And what you need to do is to point the phone's camera on the watch to scan the QR code. And after you scan the QR code, you will see this pop up, tap on allow. Tap on the check mark to confirm. Then tap next. Here you can enable the notifications uh, for your watch. Basically, you will need to allow notification access and this will let your phone send the notifications to your watch. So if you want to see the notifications on your watch, you will need to tap on enable and then allow the required permission. You can also tap on skip to skip this step if you don't care about this. I'm gonna enable it for the sake of the video. Then we have the Bluetooth calls. So if you want to uh, pick up, deny calls with your watch, you will need to enable some permissions. If you don't care, you can tap on skip. If you want to enable them, tap on enable and allow the required permissions. And then we have the uh, calling all contacts. Um, basically, it will allow you to call the contacts through the Zep Flow application on your watch. You can add contacts to your Zep application and then you can call them straight from the watch or rather pick the call from the watch. You won't be able to call them from the watch, but it will basically pick the call for you on your phone. And you can do it by tapping on enable and then allow the required permissions or you can skip it if you don't care. Same with the uh, sending the voice commands via the SMS. If you don't want to use it, you can skip. If you want to, tap on enable. And we have the calendar uh, sync. You can skip it or enable. Location, this is used for weather and stuff like that. If you don't care, you can skip it. If you want to use it, enable. And then we can select the preferred button on the left or button on the right. Then tap next. Done, done. 
And now you should see the device page and on it you should see your watch. And if you wake up the screen on your watch, it should be ready uh, to use. And that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.